What's going on YouTube? I want to give a quick run through on the Procreate app and just a couple ways you can use it real quick. So for those of you who don't know, you could purchase Procreate through the app store. And this is what it would look like. <clears throat> it's only available for iPad. Uh, I think you need at least a 2018 or, or earlier. You can use it on iPad and iPad Pro. They do have a Procreate Pocket version for um, <clears throat> for iPhones, but of course it's a, a little limited on the things you can do. I sell brush sets and um, sometimes you can get away with downloading them to the Pocket version, but nine times out of 10, if you download more than one set, it will crash the app. So I advise that if you're interested in this, that you actually get an iPad. And like I said, a 2018 or earlier, uh, is your best bet. <clears throat> so let's jump into it. Gonna go ahead and open up your Procreate app. To open up a new canvas, you're gonna press this plus sign. If you open up the plus sign, you can then go to screen size, square, 4K. They have a few different settings. I usually do screen size. Once you get, uh, you know, your canvas opened up, Right here you have your, I guess you could call it your paint bucket. It might open up like this if you're new to the app or you first open up the app. I like to use, uh, I like to use classic version. It's just easier for me to get around. You know what I'm saying? You could toggle your colors through here, this first row. So you could toggle your colors through here. So let's say we want to do blue. There you go, you can tap around. Hopefully my battery doesn't die for this video ends. And then you can see it up here. So let's say you want to go black, or let's say you want to go blue. You know what I'm saying? You could use two fingers to delete, or you use three fingers to bring it back. Either way, let's say you want to do red. You know what I'm saying? You pick any tone of red. If you're using my brushes, let's say you're creating an image. This is a new set I'm working on now. You'll press this arrow up here in the corner. And now you could uh, resize it. You'll open up, see this window right here? That's what you use to open up your layers. So now that I have one image down, I'll add an extra layer and do my second image on top of it. Again, you're gonna click the arrow. Now you could uh, alter the size. That's cool. So right now, as you can see, we have lines and things overlapping. If it gets a little confusing for you, you could go back to your first layer. And what I like to use is the opacity tool, this little magic wand up here. And then you would click opacity. Once you have opacity open, you'll see this blue line up here. You can swipe your finger across the screen and it'll make the image vanish and reappear. So I would probably tone it down to like right around there just so I could, you know, see the difference in layers. And I'd go ahead and I click the erase tool. Over here in this corner, you can uh, adjust the size of the tool. And if you tap on the eraser, you know, you could do different settings. You know what I'm saying? You could do like a soft eraser. You could do a hard eraser. Right now we're gonna use a hard erase. And I'm gonna go ahead and erase what I don't need. Now 
I'll go back to the opacity tool and I'll raise it again. See that? I'll go ahead and add another layer. I'll go back to like an ink pen. I usually use a technical pen. Again here, you can control. Again here, you can control the size. And if I didn't uh, explain this, you can control the opacity on your actual tool here. I don't usually alter that, but you know, you have that option if you need to. So I'll go ahead and now that I'm on my third layer, I'll take the ink pen and I'll go ahead and maybe freestyle. I might be a little too thick. Use two fingers, erase it. that I'm working on. that one over there. Open up another layer. Maybe add some facial hair. Add a few more elements. And all of these brushes that you see me using, you can purchase through my website. I'm gonna add the link um, in the description somewhere, maybe add it on the video. To be real, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. Well, fairly new. Again, you're gonna tap the arrow. And uh, you have to be very mindful of adding new layers because I'm gonna give you an example of what will happen if you don't add a new layer for every um, element that you add in. You see how we just added this uh, African warrior? Now let's say I didn't open up a new um, layer. I decided to add another element. You see, I just added the Africa. Now, if I decided to click this arrow and resize or move it, it's going to grab everything that's on that layer. You know what I'm saying? You might not want to do that. So I'm going to use the two fingers. I'll get out of that. I'm going to go ahead and add another layer and then put down the Africa. You see? 
and I can move it independently. That's all I'm going to show you guys for right now. That's just my uh, short introduction to the Procreate app. Again, if you would like to purchase these uh, brushes that I'm using, you can click the link in the description. I might add a link in here if I can figure it out. You can also follow me on Instagram. Appreciate it.